Yo, what is up guys, Kidolf here. Rathalos is an encounter in Monster Underworld and the toughest monster you will face in the starter ancient forest area. Whether you're tackling it in the wild or as part of the key quest. There are a number of Rathalos strategies and weaknesses to learn about and when you're ready, many ways to farm the Rathalos parts. This is a mission for Hunter rank 5 or above, so it is a tough encounter. So before we start a fight, let's take a look at its weaknesses first. As you guys can see, the best place to hit this beast is its head, tail and its wings. Its head works as a weak spot no matter what type of weapon you're using, however its tail can only be severed by using a bladed weapon like a switch axe, greatsword or a longsword. Any bladed weapon will work out fine, but we recommend a longsword here since it won't take away your mobility. And Rathalos has some pretty quick attacks up its sleeve. If you want to take it slow however, you can also use a ranged weapon with piercing arrows to quickly get rid of his wings. As for the elemental advantage, the best elements to use against him from strongest to weakest are Dragon, Thunder, Ice and Water. Fire however won't do that much since he will just resist it. Then for the most effective ailments you can use against him from strongest to weakest again are Paralysis, Stun, Sleep, Blast and Poison. Then as for the equipment. As I said before, I recommend the Longsword for this fight, along with the Thunder Element and the Paralysis Ailment. As for the armor, take one that has high defense and fire resistance. If you've taken on Odogaron as part of the assigned quest, then you should be ready in terms of armor and defense. That said, upgrading your armor, whether it is through the armor spheres or simply crafting better gear, it just won't hurt. Rathalos can also give you the poison status, so be sure to have a full stack of antidotes ready. Mega potions are also essential and I'd also recommend unlocking area 17 campsite, which you will encounter on the way to completing the area's Grimalkine's quest since Rathalos spawns and returns to area 16 regularly. Then as for positioning. You should approach Rathalos like every flying beast you've encountered so far. When it's in flight, keep moving at a distance and circle around. Unlike Anjanath, where its fire attacks were deadly, when Rathalos breathes fire it is well telegraphed and it's either directly ahead or around him, making it easy to avoid. Now the problem with Rathalos are its swoops. It will very suddenly dive towards you and if you are caught by its talons, you'll be poisoned. You'll want to use an antidote as soon as you can, so hopefully your Palico and a tail rider will distract it long enough. Now whenever Rathalos lands, this is where I recommend you would attack. Again, watch the head, if he looks at you, he's about to turn around with a tail swipe, so just quickly roll away. The most frustrating attack however is still the swoop, so watch out for that. Then about knockdowns. So try to go for its weak spots during the fight and try to knock him down. One thing I found very useful is to try and mount him, as it will give you a knockout for free. You can do that by simply jumping down from a ledge and use your main attack to trigger the mount phase. Should you be able to get him on the ground, focus his tail and try to sever it. This will give you a little more breathing room and one less attack to focus on. On top of that, an extra carve once you lop it off. After you do that, focusing his face should knock him down again and whenever that happens, his tail is already severed, so you should focus his wings. Breaking those will eventually make him a lot less agile. So there is one more thing we can do to make this fight a bit easier and that is use the environment against him. Starting off the fight in zone 16, you can make him slam the wall behind you and unleash a flute swooping Rathalos down the mountain. On top of that, I found zone 9 especially useful since it spawns in 3 paratodes you can use to paralyze him. But be careful, standing in the smoke will paralyze you as well. You can also use zone 5 to hit him with a large boulder or zone 8 and 4 to trap him into some vines. These environmental traps will either knock him down or stun him. Again, giving you a great shot and dealing some true serious damage. Now again, as you guys know from the tutorial, bringing different monsters together will make them fight each other. But since our little friend here is on top of the food chain, he will literally attack anything and not take too much damage himself. But since he will be fighting other monsters, he's not really focused on you. So use it as an opportunity to land some great hits. Be careful though, since he can still hit you while fighting other monsters. Oh guys, by the way, I was lucky enough to encounter a Rathian while fighting him, which gave me a great advantage. Not. Since the Rathian is Rathalos' wife, they will both go for you and completely rip you apart. Now once Rathalos has eventually been felt after a long and drawn out battle, you will have the opportunity to scavenge its corpse for rare items like the Rathalos scale or Rathalos wing. But your chances of obtaining a flame sack are drastically increased if you manage to capture this beast alive using a trap and a trank bomb. 
Now that's it again for this video, I'll thank you all for watching and if this was helpful, consider to drop a like and comment down below on what video I should make next. Also feel free to subscribe to my channel for some more Monster Hunter guides in the future or other content related to games. And as always guys, I love you all, wish you a very good day and peace out! I just wanna see the light